small ball to begin. If you don't have one, it's fine. You just have to wait a second. But it's really nice when we're focusing on shoulder release to just massage um, the back. So what I want you to do, using your ball, so you can see where we're going to place it, in your scapula. This is your spinal column. I want you to put it just to the side, okay, on one side. I'm going to lie down on my back to show you. If you have a wall, it's really nice to do against the wall. So all we're going to do is from the spine, out to the side, bottom, and to the top. So you don't want to go on the spine, just to the side. We're trying to lengthen out, okay? Let's get going. Okay, so let's lie down, or you can go to your wall. So you know where your position is, next to your spine, in your upper scapula. Okay, and then just sit down and very gently just move side to side. You're trying to lengthen out, it can get really um, congested in here. Move in a couple of different spaces and starting, as I said, from the inside and gently trying to open it out and connect into the fascia. So we can really get that back working right up to under the armpit. Just a couple on each side. Should feel quite nice, especially around the armpit area. Then can you take it to the other side, the other side of your spine, and just roll gently to the side. So we're just starting, if you're just joining, on the ball, just to open up the back a tiny bit. No particular right or wrong, you just want to move side to side on one side of the spine. You can use a roller, but I prefer to use a small ball, it's a bit more specific in the area. And then I want you to come up and we're going to just go along the breastbone here. Okay, so if you do the back, you want to do the front as well. Again, we're starting from the center of the collarbone. Don't go high up here. You don't want to go up there in your clavicle. Go just above the breast tissue and roll to the side. Nice and gently opening out your pecs as well. Because we want to work with, these are our collarbones, really wide collarbones. And to the other side. So we're going to be nice and wide along the collarbones, nice and wide along the back. Just a few times on each side. Okay, let's come up to stand with your broomstick. Okay, so you have your broomstick with you and we're going to start to move a bit more. Okay, stretching your arms all the way up. I just want you to work with some mobility to begin. Take a deep breath in. Think about pulling the broomstick apart with your little pinky side finger and then press your hands together without them moving. The most important thing is, you guys just keep going up and down. I don't wanna see broken wrists. This is a broken wrist where I'm twisting my wrist, okay? Or using a motorcycle. Keep it straight. Keep your little fingers connected onto the broomstick, the whole class, okay? Hold it down by your thighs, push your pelvis, against the pole and then press the pole against your pelvis. Find that back line connection. Take a deep breath into your nose and then exhale. We're going to come to a roll down now, chin to chest. You're pushing the bar broom down your thighs and doing a little mini roll down to your knees. Scooping out your tummy. Take a deep breath in and we're rolling back roll your shoulders down and back twice and again rolling down chin to chest deep breath in scooping up and in through your tummy all the way down to your knees keep going down to the floor now so really put that room along your shins transfer the weight to the balls of the feet let your neck release take a deep breath in and glide that broomstick back up your thighs Slowly roll your shoulder blades back, open up your chest, and then just roll your shoulders. 
around and back. Holding it into your pelvis, look side to side, gently. Keeping a connection between your pelvis and the room. And just noticing if you feel any tension in your neck. If you tend to feel tension here, you're probably working from your upper shoulders too much. So tonight, we're gonna really learn to connect to the lower part of the shoulders, ear towards your shoulder blade now. Just breathing. One more time. And now you're gonna come into your squat position. Okay, take a deep breath in. We're sitting back, bring your arms out in front of you. Straight, no broken wrist, remember? Elbow pockets facing each other. Sit back into your heels. Wait there, scoop up and in your tummy and break the bar. Pull it apart and come back up. And push your hands together. So starting just with mini squats, separating and pressing the hands in. But my hands are not moving, okay? I'm just continuing with mini squats but I'm trying to connect my back at the same time by separating and pressing inwards. Exhale, start to come into your breath and think about your wings, that's your scapula, that's where we want the work to come from. Two more. Can we hold down on this last one? Break that bar, little pulses here. Just sit your bum back in that chair, keep pulsing. Four, three, two, one. And come all the way up. Come up onto the balls of your feet. Can you balance there? Roll your shoulder blades down and back again. And we're going down on tippy toes now. Coming down with a flat spine if you can. Ooh, I'm a bit unbalanced. Stay here. Pull it apart. Pulse and exhale. Stay strong in your arms. You really want to get quite a burn up in your back muscles pretty quickly with this one. Good. Three more. Two more. Hold it here. Stay here. Break the bar. Lift it up to the ceiling. Don't lose your scapular connection. Tuck your chin in. Make sure your back's not arching. And again. <sighs> Collarbones wide. Two more. Little fingers stay connected to the bar the entire time. Last one. Good job. And come down. Coming down onto your knees now. Okay, so coming down onto our knees. This position. I'll face this way. Actually roll the shoulders down and back once again. Now get your hips pressing forward against the bar. Shin bones down. Wrap your rib cage around. Once again, lifting up. Nice and high. Break that bar and then come down. Now I want you to make this funny shape, okay, like this. It's like a backward goalpost position. You're going to rotate up past your head and down. Try and keep your elbows up in line with your shoulders. Break the bar and then rotate down. So we're starting to warm up through rotation so we can get a little bit more heat and movement through the lower shoulder blades. Two more. Squeeze that bar up. Can you hold it here now and pull out and feel that fire burning between your scapula? Try and widen and then push your hands in without moving. Feel that fire and then lifting up again and standing up with straight arms. So step up, keep your shoulder blades connected. Good job, you're coming into a wide second position now. We're turning the pole directly in front of your chest. My hands haven't moved, okay? This, it's vertical in line with the center of my chest. Take a deep breath in and you're gonna laterally flex. So you're bending over to the side, keep your shoulder blades down, keep the pole in line with your chest. Bottom half of your body stays still and come back and turn it the other way. Drop. So I'm squeezing inwards now with my hands and I'm coming over to the side. Keep coming, keep coming. Keep it in line with your chest. Now shoulders is one of my big weaknesses. If you can, as you start to warm up, you want to really go all the way. Maybe you can go all the way to the side. Breathing in here, opening. We can really start to open up and unlock in your back with this type of work. So it's really beneficial but it takes time and it takes breath work. So really breathe through it 
and feel new parts of your spine opening. I want to go one more time. Really go a bit deeper this time. Breathing, squeeze the hands together. Can you come down further? Not moving your hips. Look up. So try and reach your bottom arm up to the ceiling. Ooh, and come back to center. On the other side, you turn it vertical. You reach over through the crown of your head. Keep the pole in the center of your chest. Lift up your bottom arm. Breathe. Keep squeezing your hands together. And come back to center. Nice work. Roll your shoulder blades down and back. Good work. Wide second squats now. Okay, so you're going to come up now here and you're going to sit down into a wide second plie squat. Stay here and slide that bar behind your head without poking your head, moving your pelvis, nothing changes. And up, staying down here, really reaching those knees apart, widening, holding, and stretching up. Again, exhale, pull it apart. Two more. Last one. Good job. Come back now. Bring your feet in a little bit closer. I want you to get your bar. This gets a little bit trickier now. Place it behind your bum. Hands a little bit closer. No broken wrists yet, okay? All you're going to do is slide the pole up as high as you can on your back. Take a deep breath in and then lower it back down. Okay, so stand up as tall as you can, hold your rib cage in, and you're sliding that pole up. Little fingers stay connected. Don't let your hands do anything strange. Now we're gonna hold up here. Can you hold it up here now? And then you're about to jump on your motorcycle. Rev it up, rev your knuckles forward, and open up your chest to the ceiling. And then your knuckles go back, and you round down. So my lower body never moves really in this class. I'm really focusing on the disassociation, the opening of the back. This feels really amazing. And coming back. Okay, so a couple more like that, guys. Really try and get that turning of the wrist, that opening up and coming down. Good. Turn, turn, turn. Open your chest up. It's a really nice one for guys with shoulder opening class as well to get out any tension that can get stuck in here. Rotate through the wrist, lift your chest up. Look at your fingers, they must stay connected to the pole the whole time, nothing strange. And come back down. Excellent, just release those shoulders for a second. Come back onto your knees. Sitting up nice and tall, pull up from underneath you, off the ground. We grow taller and part Pilates, remember? Simple thigh stretch now. Take a deep breath in, break the pole, and sit down onto your heels. Shoulders are stacked directly over hips. Break the pole, stay tall, squeeze up from your seat, and come down. And lower the pole down. We're gonna lift up without popping our ribs, and we're gonna go straight down. Again, lifting up. Squeeze your seat now, and come down. Two more. Lifting up, squeeze, connect. Last one. Squeeze, hold this, separate it, breathe. And bring it back down. Come back up to standing. Nice mobilization one. Ooh, this pole's a bit strange. Place it in front of your right side. Arms distance, so your arms stay straight the entire class as well. We're gonna stir some soup, but first of all, I want you to hold under your right side here. Keep your body still and see if you can start to mobilize and get width across your shoulder. It's a small little action, but once you get it, it's so amazing. Okay, so try not to move your body like this. Stay still. It's a very subtle movement. Now we're going to stir the soup so you can move more. Okay, but my lower body doesn't move. I'm stirring this soup with my upper body. My upper body is following. You can go into extension. Each stir gets a little bit bigger. Open up your legs if it's a bit more comfortable. And then try and really just relax into it. Feel different areas opening up. Two more. Can you reverse? 
Go back the other way. Open it up. If you've done Cadillac before, it's a little bit like around the world, which is one of my favorite motions. It's a hard one to understand on the floor. So this is a nice variation. If you don't have a Cadillac with you. Excellent job. Come to the other side. Nice and wide, arms distance away. Hold on under your left side ribs and just start to move your shoulder. Sometimes we're so stuck, it's like, well, it won't move. Breathe into it and just let it start to open. Remember the body's not moving, a very subtle motion here, moving side to side. When that starts to mobilize, keep your lower body still and start to stir that soup. Try not to move your lower legs. I know it can be hard, we're just trying to mobilize the upper body. Mine's really starting to wake up now, I can feel it. So really lengthen around. Keep your hips still and reverse. Open your chest to the ceiling. Keeping that arm straight and no funniness through the wrist, no broken wrist. Two more. Last one. Good job. Now can you lift your arms up? Okay, I want you to lift your shoulders up, lower them, but I don't want to see the bar move, okay? I don't want to see the bar going like this. Keep it at the same height. Can you learn to use your shoulders? Not an easy one. So that your neck is relaxed and you're starting to get some glide, but keeping everything connected so you're not losing your connection here. Couple more. Last one, excellent. So now we're gonna get quite a bit more flexible with it. You may need to take your hands a little bit wider, okay? Taking your hands a little bit wider if you need to. Take a deep breath in, no rib popping, stay still in your upper body. Take a deep breath in, lift your arms all the way up to the ceiling. And keep going as far as you can. Open the chest up, slowly pull that bar apart. That may be as far as you go. Now your fingers are not allowed to change shape. Hold it here. Your little fingers are connected to the pole. No broken wrist. If you can, keep going, do slowly. So you never lose that back connection. And then take a deep breath. I'm not popping, I'm not changing my hands. Don't worry about your range, okay? If it's a lot less, Rather be honest in your body and improve without kind of popping and losing connection. So make it smaller. If you can, keep going back, really trying to hold those ribs in all the way down. And then come back. One more time, all the way back, all the way back, open up. Feels really amazing. And coming back. Now can you open those legs wide, can you open up, look up to that top arm, take a deep breath in, twist your chest up to the ceiling and then rotate down. Again, you're twisting, your hips are staying still. It's a tiny movement, okay, it doesn't have to be big. We're working with smaller, subtle movements around your scapula here. If you can go a bit bigger, great, you don't need to. And then we're going all the way down to the floor, round, 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 all the way up and over to the other side. Stay at this side. Reach, look up to the ceiling, open that chest up, pull the bar apart. Squeeze it together as you round down. Again, pull it apart, round down. So I don't want you to store tension in your neck. The idea of this is to really open up in that scapula, so make sure your neck is feeling relaxed. If it's getting tense, you're going too far. And let's round all the way down, big circles now. Up and around, reach. Just let that body flow. Open, you can let the hips move a little bit now. And reverse, go back the other way, lifting up. Stretch, grow taller, and come down. One more time, lifting all the way up and come back down. Okay, bent forward row time. Coming back, weight is in your heel. Like you're gonna do a deadlift, you've got a really heavy bar. Sit your bum back, 
slide your weights, think of you've got it at the gym, you've got a really heavy load here, down your thighs, take them out. Sit your bum back, your back is straight, and you're pulling up and down. Can you sit down lower? Squeeze. So try and create your own force and tension. This is very light. You want to pretend it's really heavy and you're scooping up and connecting into your core as well. Six more. Squeeze. Connect. Five more. Sit back lower. Three more. Break that pole. Two more. Last one. Hold it up here now. Keep it nice and still. Squeeze it apart. Neck is relaxed. Straighten your legs now. Reach all the way down to the floor. If your hamstrings are quite tight, you can bend your knees. Scoop out through your tummy. And then you're going to come all the way back up, rolling your body. Roll your shoulders back. Okay, so now we're going to do some different work with the pole. We're going to come down and do some bridging, but we're going to stay connected to the shoulders. Lying on your back. Okay, so I want you to bring the pole onto your hip flexors here. You're lying flat on your back. Take a deep breath in. Press your wrists down. Okay, find that connection and just start your pelvic tilt. Scooping up into your tummy. Come up about halfway. So into your midsection of your back and then roll all the way down. Again, deep breath in. So curl back. Really flatten out your lower back into the mat. Scoop your stomach. Push into your feet. Lift up high now, keeping your ribs down. Keep pressing your hips into the bar, bar into the hips. Squeeze it, hold it here. Scoop out through your tummy more and slowly roll down, connecting. We're going to take the bar up on the next one, take a deep breath in, roll back through your pelvis, scoop your tummy, lifting up now, pick your bar up, break it, take it overhead, reach your arms long, try and get the back of the arms down the floor, wrists are straight, break that bar, Keep reaching your arms away from your feet in the other direction and roll down slowly, trying to keep your bum up for as long as you can, articulating one vertebra at a time, slowly. And then bring your arms back by your hips. Take a deep breath in, roll up, connect. Scoop your tummy. So I'm using force to kind of press my hips into the bar, the bar into my hips. And then I stretch and break the bar as I take it back so my shoulders stay connected. Weight is in my lower shoulder blades. I stay there, I try and reach my arms further, my knees the opposite way, that two-way Pilates stretch. And then roll slowly down. In your articulated bridge, nice and slow. Good job. One more time, guys. Bring the bar back down. Bend your elbows if you need to. We're rolling up. Exhale. Scooping through your stomach. Curling up. Lift your arms up. Scoop out that tummy more. And take the bar back behind you. Try not to elevate your shoulder blades. Stretch your fingers longer. And then roll down one vertebra at a time. Lengthening out now, I want you to bring your left foot, gets a bit harder now guys, and get your foot onto the bar. So nice stretching. All you're gonna do is straighten that leg and come back in. So don't get too forceful. If this is too much, you bend your other knee up, okay? Otherwise you keep it lower and try and stretch that foot, keep your shoulder blades down. Fingers stay connected. I want the same amount of pressure into the bar the whole time as you extend your legs straight and you bend it back in. Keep going with that, exhale. Reach the heel to the ceiling, lengthen it out. 
Breathing in, shoulder blades down and back. Two more. Bend it in. Curl your head and chest forward. Squeeze, tighten your core. And then come back down. Come up now. Take your foot out for a second. Place it back on. You're going to try and roll up and down. Now, this isn't easy. So try our best. It's good to challenge yourself. Flex that leg on the floor. Exhale back down. Squeeze into that pole. And then extend the leg. Bend it back in whoops, and see if you can start to just do a little ball roll all the way up. And then you can bring it up and change sides. So place your right foot in, right forward's not switching on there, and slowly come down. Stretch the leg up. Head can stay down. If it's too difficult to have your head down, then you lift your head up. Choose the option that's right for you. The leg can be bent as well. Straighten and then scooping into that core. Two more and bending. One more time. Draw the shoulders down and then you're going to bend in. Exhale, scoop into your tummy. Push your foot strong into the bar and if you can, coming up, place the foot on the bar and roll down. Extending up, and then you're going to roll up, extending forward. Come down now, we're going to try and go into ball rolls. It's a nice one. If it gets too much with the pole, you don't have to use it. Can you get your feet up balancing? I want your feet close to your bottom, really in tight, and then make sure you've got space behind you to roll. Okay, so you're rolling forward and back. My feet are not touching the ground. I'm keeping my heels in tight. Nothing changes in my shape. We're gonna add on as we go back, stretch the legs, wait till my shoulder blades, can you hold it there? Scoop your tummy and come up. Try not to touch the floor though. Stand your legs straight, slowly. Scoop and hold. Extend straight. Scoop and hold. Couple more guys. If you can, can you lift your legs up, 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 down, and roll. Forward, stretch, 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 shoulder blades back, bend, and roll. Two more. Try not to go over your head. Just roll back to your shoulder blades. Last one. And come up into your tease up. Hold, 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 or bend leg if you need to. Keep holding, scoop out your tummy more. Can you take one leg off? Can you take the other leg and open up? Lift that bar up and you're coming forward. Forward, forward, forward. If you can reach the bar underneath your feet, great. And pull up against your toes to flex your feet back. Move back a little bit. Flex your feet back and then lower your chest down. But don't collapse there. I'm trying to stay scooped into my center. Breathing, try and pull those toes back. A little bit more, open up the chest. Breathe. Can you separate your legs now? The distance of the mat. We're gonna do some side twists, I'll just face you. Breaking that bar still, sit up on top of your sit bones, peel out the flesh. Take a deep breath in, we're exhaling to the right. Coming back to center. Exhale to the left. If you have a wall, you can also do this seated up against the wall. My hips are not twisting, I'm just turning. From my wings, exhale. And center, exhale. And center, two more. Last one. Good. Now come back up, lift up, screw taller. We're going to come into spine stretch forward from here. Take a deep breath in, round through your stomach, but keep that reach, keep that length. Scooping up and over, drop your shoulders. Keep your shoulders stacked over your hips for the first one. Scoop back into your stomach. And then re-stack your spine. I really want you to start to pull up your rib cage. Feel that length 
from the floor up. Activate your seat, squeeze your seat, chin to chest, exhale, scooping, lifting. Active in every part of your body. Gently pull that bar apart, drop your wings, and then float up. One more time, deep breath in, can you grow taller? Can you squeeze tighter in your glutes? Chin to chest, exhale. Scooping up and in, scooping up and in. Let's go forward this time. Reach towards the feet. The pole goes over the feet again. And then open up your chest. Lift up, look up to the ceiling. Come onto all fours now. Some more release for cat and cow. Okay, hands are under your shoulders, knees under your hips. And just round your spine. Just check in to see how it feels. It should feel really nice and mobile now. Scooping up, it can get quite sticky up here. Two more. Exhaling up, breathing in. Can we go into a nice circular cat now? Moving, letting that spine flow. Paying particular attention to that upper spine. And reverse. Scooping through center. And then I want you to reach the right hand up and out to the side, lift up. Take a deep breath in and thread your needle down, but don't move your hips. And again, reaching up, lengthening, and then threading down. You can bend the other elbow. The next one, we're going to go a bit further down. Reach your arm up, thread it through, and bring your ear down. Keep your knee, your hips over your knees. And try and sit back onto your right shoulder. Breathe for that space, that opening there. And come back to center. Open up your left arm all the way. And come around this way. All the way to the ceiling. Look up towards it. Wow, that's a lot more range than I normally get. And come down. Thread the needle. And then breathing in. Opening. And threading down. Sitting down into your hips. One more time, deep breath in. Keep your hips still. Thread down and sit onto that shoulder. Breathe space into it. Really try and get some weight into there. Breathe for that nice stretch, that opening, like when we massage to the beginning with the ball. From here, can you stretch your hands forward? Keep your hips over your knees and slide out like a cat. Get your chest down. See if you feel a little bit more open here. Breathe into it. Soften the chest. Soften down. And then walk your hands back. Sit back into your heels, into your shell stretch. Walk your hands over to the right side. Sit into your left heel. Breathe. Bring space into that side waist there. Feel the side opening. Take your right arm around to your back foot here and just hold on to it and just see if you can side bend further. Feel that really nice opening on the side body. And then walk your hands all the way to the left. Sit back into the right heel. Breathe into it. Wiggle your left hand back around to your feet. Sit into it and then press the right side ribs out to the side more. Walking your hands all the way back to center. Take a deep breath in, rolling up onto your knees now. I want you to lift your arms up overhead. My left hand is on my left shoulder blade. My right hand's on my right shoulder blade. I'm opening my chest to the ceiling and then I'm going to round down. I'm trying to bring my shoulders, or my elbows, sorry, directly in front of my knees. My bum stays down onto my heels. Can you feel me? Stay still here. Breathe. Keep your bum down your heels. Scoop up in your tummy. Restack your spine. Opening up, you're going to do a cactus stretch now. Open up your chest to the ceiling, squeeze your elbows down, 
widen your collarbones. One more time, lifting up. Left hand on left shoulder blade, right on right, chin to chest and roll down. Scoot into your top. Feel how nice that mobility in your spine feels now. And then scooping up through your center, re-stacking your spine, opening your chest up. Open with your cactus arms, open your chest, back, back, back. Coming into interlaced hands now, place your hands, try and keep the heels of your hands together, okay? Deep breath in, you're coming up onto your knees now, on your knees, scoop, chin to chest, whoop, I'm cheating a little bit, keep the heels of your hands together, and come down. Same thing, a mini roll down, be careful, your abdominals, need to switch on, try not to sit your bum back, and I know it's pretty impossible. And bring the crown of your head, really nice neurological one here, let the hairline of my hair open your chest, take a deep breath in, and scoop the belly, rounding back up, roll your shoulder blades down, and back. You should feel quite nice now. Come up to standing position. Cross your left hand over and just give yourself a nice stretch here. Trying to pull this shoulder blade back. And fingers down, okay? Fingers down. Keep rotating. Thumb up, thumb down. Change sides. Thumb up, thumb down. Two more. Good. Open up your hands nice and wide. Feel the reach of your arm bones coming out. Lift your chest up, stand really strong. Take a deep breath in, lift your arms up to the ceiling. Crush your fingers and try and pull your arms back behind you. Tuck your chin in just gently. Take a deep breath in. We're gonna come down to a roll down now from here. Bend your knees, chin to chest, rolling down in strange hand position, scooping up and over. Feel how your spine feels so much different to when we started. Spread your toes apart. Walking out to your plank position. All the way out. Holes in my way. Squeeze your heels back. Shoulder blades down. I want you to rock forward and back on your toes. So my head is reaching long and my heels are reaching the opposite way. Stay still, keep reaching the back of your head, look down to the floor, crown of your head one way, the heels the other way. Hold it here. Can you come straight over to side plank and lift? Option is to bring your knee down, thread the needle, keep your hips still. We're still working on that scapular mobility. Hips are still, I'm just moving my arm. Then try and turn your upper body around without moving your hips. Last one, turn it around. Come through plank, transition to the other side. I'll just turn this way so you can see. Lifting your arms up, squeeze your inner thighs together. We bring one knee down if you need to, and then we're threading the needle down. Keeping your hips still and lift, scooping in through that core. Excellent. Squeeze your inner thighs tight together. Can you move your scapula a little bit on the next one? Lifting up, hold it here. Come back around to your plank position. Stay long. And then stretch up into your downward dog stretch. Into your up stretch. Spread your toes wide. Bend your knees slightly and press your chest down. So my ears are directly between my arms. Feel how nice that upper back feels and just walk your dog. Try to tilt your tailbone up to the ceiling more. Externally rotate your shoulders so they're not hunched into your ears. And then we'll just get a nice hip opener now, lifting your right leg up. Circle that ankle. Bend the knee to the ceiling. And then step it through your hands and lift your right arm up, circle, pressing that hip down, come back to the other side now, up stretch, lift your left leg, circle the ankle, 
Drop the heel, knee up to the ceiling. Feel that nice side opening. Stretch that left foot forward. Open up the arm. Circle the wrist down. Lower your hips down. Scoop your tummy. And then step back. Walk your feet forward to your hands. And just stay here, holding on to your elbows. Relax any tension in your neck or shoulders. Bend your knees if you need to, but try not to. And just let it all go. Take a deep breath in, bend your knees, micro bend, hands on the floor, push into the ground now, around your spine. Rolling up slowly, one vertebra at a time. Come up to standing, take a deep breath in, rolling your shoulders up, around, and down. Checking in, take a deep breath in, big plie, exhale. Take a deep breath in, let's go down on the exhale. Take a deep breath in. Lifting all that good energy up, and then we exhale. And again, breathing in to lift up, and exhale, let it go. Excellent work, guys. Thank you so much. If you have any questions or anything, please let me know. Thank you so much for joining. Have a lovely evening. Get in? Yeah.